I can get my phone charger to work. We do. Beautiful. Alright, welcome back everybody to another tier list. Today we're doing Heroes of Might and Magic 7, all of the creatures. It is, uh, there's definitely a good chunk of them, so I'm definitely going to try to be uh, a little bit on the quicker side. Um, just so the video doesn't take too long, but be sure to check out all of my other Heroes of Might and Magic 5, 6, and 7 uh, content, tier list, dual mode series, everything like that. Don't forget like, since, uh, like and subscribe if I could speak, and uh, let me know down in the comments where you guys would place your favorite and least favorite creatures here. Um, I am going to try to get them grouped up uh, correctly. Um, so all this is a little uh, wishy-washy and incorrect, so I'm going to focus on who I can see double of first um, and then go from there, but in no particular order. Okay, um, Blade Dancers, they're definitely um, a little bit better than uh, obviously Tier 2 Heroes of Might and Magic 5. I'm going to reference Heroes 5 a lot because that is my most played one for sure. Um, Heroes 6 and 7 are definitely not as good or as played, um, so that is why. But both Blade Dancers... Um, damn, that's difficult. Minimum B for sure. Might be A. This one's definitely A as well, might even be S, but we're going to keep them there for now, I think, just because they are a little bit tougher in this one because they're a higher tier creature um, in this Heroes, and they obviously still do a very good amount of damage, especially if they can get into um, a group of enemies and hit multiple targets. It's pretty insane. Um, you know, honestly, with that, I think I will put him in S. I think there's a big jump there. Um just hitting multiple targets while it's not always guaranteed and not always possible when that happens um it's it's a fantastic thing let me tell you it's uh, very very good um honestly both of the knolls here i think i'm just gonna put both of them in b um obviously you know every single time you upgrade a creature it's technically better um but i just don't think the upgraded knoll is um, an A, um, and I could even drop this one down to see if that uh, makes everybody's uh, OCD work a little bit better. Uh, but the Nulls are okay. I mean, they're not bad, but they are, you know, um, early tier units that just, you know, they do okay damage, but they're not really uh, game changing at all. Um, the Basilisk Riders here. Um, I think I'll give them B and then A. Um, I think they're pretty solid. They're basically just Grim Raiders from Heroes 5. Um, a little bit tankier, a little less damage, so little swap there. They're much more like balanced instead of, you know, much more damaging and less defensive like Heroes 5. But, um, you know, I think, uh, I think they're pretty decent units for sure. Um, definitely not bad. They're not you know, fantastic S-tier units, but they uh, they definitely do their job and they do it well, so nothing to complain about there. Um, let's see, who can I see two of? So the Ghosts and Banshees and this one, massive downgrade from Heroes 5. Um, I do think they both deserve B, but I don't think the upgraded one um, is that much better getting put into A. Um, so I definitely think that they're still decent units, but they're not, you know, crazy um, good or essentially scary like they are in Heroes 5 to uh, face at all. Um, who else can I see? I'll just go with the gins here. Um... Yeah, honestly, the the gins are not too great. Um, they're okay, again, but they're, I don't know. Academy always seems to be lacking in very good creatures. A lot of their creatures are pretty decent, some obviously better than others, but um, 
a lot of academy is just uh, magic resistance and then having great spells and and shit like that. So their creatures aren't aren't as a uh, hefty as they could be compared to uh, other um, creatures. Druids. I'll go Druids B and A. Um, I think they're decent. I don't really think uh, the Druid is uh, anywhere near S tier. I think it's definitely like an A minus. Uh, but they're okay. Definitely, again, not as strong as Heroes 5 Druids by any means. Not attack or defensive wise, but they're still pretty decent. I mean, they're they're okay. They work well with Sylvan, of course. Sylvan seems to always be just massive amount of damage, but not as much um, defensive health. But in, in Heroes 7, there are a little bit more... Um, not necessarily defensive driven, but their, their units are a little more... Um, uh, better in the defensive category for sure. Um, who else can I see here? Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't like grab a bunch of uh, other people. Gargoyles. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, honestly, gargoyles are probably the the same. I think they're they're okay for what they're supposed to do. Um, definitely, again, kind of a minus, and I might drop them down to like C, and then drop that one down to B. They're they're okay units. So a lot of Hero Seven, it's not so much about the creatures and their abilities themselves. It's much more of can you uh, get some critical strikes um, and get behind other units and everything to uh, achieve those. Um, for a lot of, you know, attack and defensive units, but then also how much damage they do if they are um, some form of archer or anything like that. But overall, they're not bad. Again, they, they do their job well. They're just supposed to be the meat shield for the team, and they, they do that well. Um, and having magic resistance and everything like that is, you know, good no matter what unit you are. Um... The spiders, I would say the same thing. I think the spiders are actually uh, pretty good. I don't really necessarily want to give the upgraded spider an S. I don't think it deserves it, but it's definitely a strong, uh, solid, like high middle A, because um, they can they can definitely do some damage defensively. They're a little weaker. Um, they're not bad, but they're definitely more um, attack focused than they are defensive. Um, but still pretty good. Um, let's see. The Lamasu. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm going to put the Lamasu up in S. Um, I think it's, it's just solid. It does a good amount of damage. It's pretty decently tanky. Being undead is obviously, uh, you know, just an added bonus to all Necropolis creatures. Well, not all of them, but most of them um, in this one still. Um, but yeah, very, very strong unit. Um, attack and defensively, there's not really anything bad to say about them. Um, I think they're just pretty, uh, pretty well balanced there. Um, pretty solid. Centaurs. Centaurs are always pretty good. But I don't know that they deserve an S. Yeah, you know what? I, th I think I can do it. I think I can warrant the centaurs being an S. Centaurs are just always so good no matter where they are on the lineup. Um, they're just a very strong archer. They're, you know, some backline archers, um, they're a little bit more utility than they are archer, you know? such as like you know priests from heroes 5 you know they, they do okay shooting but they're they're much more for uh, you know casting utility as well so their actual um, archery is not uh, the greatest but I think us centaurs are always very strong um, solid choices so who else can I see? Hunters. 
Yeah, I mean, I think hunters are pretty much the exact same. They're just always super strong, super uh, devastating when you can get some hits. I might drop... You could definitely warrant dropping them both to the A and B tiers for sure, but overall I think they're very solid, strong um, attacking units and they do their job well. There's no utility, it's just hard hits. Um, and that is definitely what you want there. Um, let's see, the whites. I think these are actually riders this time. Um, I'll go B and A. Um, I actually don't know which one is which, I can't tell, but we'll just go that way. You can switch them in your brain if that helps, but, uh, I mean, they're okay. They're, they're solid, um, but they just don't have any, like, umph to get them into S by any means. They're, they're just, you know, they're just solid units, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, the rhinos here, though, I will give into A and S. They're they're pretty strong, huge defensive, decent attack actually too, and then uh, they can actually move around a lot better than you would think. But uh, pretty pretty strong in my opinion. Super hard to kill. Um, definitely a super strong tank unit for sure. Um, Minotaurs. Minotaurs are difficult. They're just uh, so inconsistent. So I think I'm going to go... I don't remember which one is the upgrade. So I think I'm just going to go um, B and A and stick with that. Because they... They just don't have the best defense, but their attack is super good, so if they get hit first before they can really hit anybody, then they're just kind of uh, not worthless, but obviously much less uh, devastating than they could be. Um, so, decent, but nothing uh, nothing crazy. Harpies, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give to A and S. I think uh, Harpies or Blood Furies or whichever version that's in any game, they're always so strong and so devastating with that ability. Now, uh, in this one, they can obviously only use their ability the one time, but it's still um, super good, um, super devastating. And they're still not bad. Their attack's um, still pretty good even after the ability use. Defensively, definitely not that strong, but overall, um, pretty solid. Now, the Guardians, I'm going to put both of them in B. Um, honestly, they're just pretty mid to me, no matter what. They're not that great. Um, they're just definitely there to, like, um, you know, help out the rest of their team. A lot of their the rest of their team does way more uh, damage and is more useful than them. They're just kind of that, uh, you know, frontline soldier meat shield, if you will, that tries to help everybody else out. Um, the Golems, I'm going to give to B and A as well. I think uh, mostly just because of the magic resistance and um, being solid early game tanks, you know, again, they just, they just do their job well. They're supposed to be the meat shields for the rest of their team to succeed, and they do just that, and they do it good, so it's hard to uh, not put them in a decent spot because they do their job well. Um, mages. Mages are hard. Like, I want to put them in... Yeah, I think I got to go B and A with the mages. I think just the fact that they hit their own units and can do damage to them just uh, takes them down. I definitely don't think... While the mages in Heroes 5 do the same thing overall that these ones do, I think the Heroes 5 ones are just better and much more devastating. Mm -hmm. um, and these ones just definitely aren't. Um, so, I think I got to put them B and A. Now, I could warrant, you know, see the... Um, argument to maybe put them up in S or both of them in A or whatever, you know, but overall it's, they're pretty mid to me, um, 
definitely not as much of a carry like in Heroes 5 for sure. Um, the priests. Honestly, the priests are just always bad. Um, I think the upgraded one deserves a B. I mean, it's an okay unit, but they're just... I don't know, man. They've never been good. Even Heroes 5, they're just like this weird archer utility, but the utility is not that great, and the archery is not that great because they're utility. So, like, defensively, they're actually kind of tough, um, but attack-wise, they're just so low, and their utility is not that useful that it's just... It's hard to put them very high at all, so it is what it is. Um, dryads, honestly, are a little underrated to me. Um, I think they're pretty strong, um, but they don't really have that S tier umph for them, but I do think that they deserve um, a B and an A. If they go undetected, man, they can really, uh, really win you the round for sure. Um, Marauders, Warriors, whatever, um, kind of the same. Um, I think that they can be decent units and they're not bad, but they definitely, they need to, you know, not be hit just like every other creature to, uh, really succeed. Um, so, you know, if you can, uh, wipe out a couple people and not be hit with them. They're not that bad. Um, they're definitely not S tier worthy at all. And I could see that maybe dropping them both down to B or even dropping uh, B and then C, but um, they're okay. And especially if they go undetected or unnoticed, then they're going to uh, succeed pretty well. Um, who else do we have here that I can see both of? We're running out of space because we uh, put so many people up. Um, the leeches. I'll do the leeches in B and A. Um, again, I don't really think that they're as devastating or as useful as in like Heroes 5. They're still okay. Um, but. Necropolis has never been very great for, like, backline um, units. You know, their skeleton archers that are down here are pretty shit overall. Um, and even in Heroes 5, the leeches were not that great. It was much more just utility, and you could either use the skeleton archers, which, again, are okay, like, they're B-tier units, um, or you would use the skeletons with the shield, but Necropolis definitely is not the, uh, you know, like Sylvan, where it's, you know, crazy attack and backline damage coming for you. Excuse me, I had to get some water. All this talking. Um, Medusas. I think Medusas are alright. I'll give them um, B and S, or sorry, B and A, sorry. Um, I think they're solid, but, you know, I, I don't really think they're uh, super devastating. They're uh, okay, like, mid-carry. They're definitely not the strongest carry for dungeon, um, but uh, I think they're solid. They do a pre pretty decent amount of damage, um, and they can definitely uh, cause some uh, interesting things to happen for sure. Um, who else can I see? Um, yeah, the dire wolves are just kind of like hellhounds, um, to me, which don't get me wrong, hellhounds and Cerberus from 5 are okay, but the biggest problem, and I've talked about this in my other tier lists in Heroes 5, is that hellhounds or Cerberus, they get one turn, basically. Their first turn, they can run up and press the shit out of whoever they're facing. Absolutely. They're going to do some massive damage because they get to go early because their initiative is so high. They're going to go in the first few turns every single game. Now, you're going to run up and you're going to do massive amount of damage. That's great. They have that one turn. That's That first turn is S tier. Absolutely. After that... They're, they're dead, man. They have no defense, no health pool, and 
they're they're just gonna die. So they get one very good turn, S tier turn, and then they're basically just <laughs> taking up turns for the enemy to kill them. Um, and they're not gonna do any more damage. Now, with the Cerberus, they at least have the three-headed attack and shit. Um, the Dire Wolves do not, but they're basically the same unit. They get one very good turn, absolutely, and then after that, uh, they're pretty much dead. Obviously, again, just like any other unit, if they go unnoticed or uncontested or whatever, then they're gonna continue to succeed, absolutely. Um, but they're just not good. They have one very good uh, play, round, turn, whatever, and then, then they're just dead uh, for the most part. Um, I don't remember these little rat guys being very good. I actually don't even remember like whose team they're on they might just be um uh what is it like uh neutral guys but uh, i i know that they have the crossbows but i just i don't remember them being very very strong at all um the canifers kind of the gremlins um you know, I actually think they're pretty decent. Um, I feel like they're they're better than they always do better than I think they're going to. Um, so I'm gonna give them into B and A. Um, I think they're pretty decent. I think they're a little bit underrated. Um, they have some decent damage for uh, early tier creature, and um, they have a little bit of utility as well. So. I think they're they're decent for um, where they're placed for sure. Definitely not S, but I definitely can't put the upgraded version into B um, either. And I don't think that they deserve an, a C tier at all. Um, the Mundos, honestly, the Mundos I feel like are better than the the unicorns and everything like that. I think I might throw them up an S. I think they're pretty strong. Uh, minimum, they deserve a B and A for sure. I can see how maybe not S tier for that one, but they're uh, they're strong units for sure. Um, Rakashas, not, not as uh, strong. Um, still pretty decent, but man, the, even in Heroes 5, everybody like loves Rakashas and thinks they're so great, but truthfully, they're fucking not, man. They need so much help to succeed. You know, they need items, or they need to not be, you know, touched or looked at or attacked at all to, like, really do some damage. Um, obviously, you know, if they can hit some multiple targets and everything, then that's great, um, but these ones I don't think are as strong as the ones in Heroes 5, but um, you know, in Heroes 5, it just takes way too much for even them to succeed. Um, the Troglodytes, I don't really think are that great. Um, they're okay, but they're pretty, uh, weak in my opinion. Um, honestly... The Stalkers aren't that great to me either. Um, I feel like I can't put the other one up into A. Maybe up into A, but it's like, again, A minus. Um, the Striders, same thing. I like, they're okay, but they're just, uh, they seem to die so fast. They do okay damage. Both of them do okay damage, but um, obviously Stalkers have more turns because they're not going to be running out like the Striders do, but the Striders just, yeah, I don't know, man. Um, they do okay damage, but they're they are pretty weak in my opinion. Um, the Vampires, to me, are definitely not as good as the Heroes 5 ones. I will give um, B and A for the upgraded, because I do think that they're still um, pretty decent, but I don't know, man. Um... Yeah, they're just like not as not as strong. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this row because let's be real, we're not putting anybody down in D, so I can see more people here. Um, but yeah, I just um, they're still strong, but they don't have that umph like they do in Heroes Five for me anyway. Um, I don't feel it or see it. Um, 
bears I think are pretty uh, weak. I think these ones are actually neutral as well. Um, if not, we got this whole dwarf army. I think um, it's a little bit of a mix of like how uh, I think it's here six or maybe even this one as well where the inferno is not in there but all the neutral creatures are out there for inferno um, on the map. But let's see, um, so I'm trying to figure out which one is the other crossbow and which one is the nice, I think. This guy's got to be the cavalier dude. I thought there was a more haven, so maybe not. I think the other one had pikemen and then this one doesn't. I think these other two are crossbow. Um, the Cavalier is definitely not as good as Heroes 5, still solid. Um, the Crossbowmen, again, not as good. Um, and Heroes 5, but still solid. But I definitely can't put them up. Um, the Angels and Seraphs, yeah, not, not as good in this one either. They're definitely not as strong. They're still good, but not as good uh, by any means. The wyverns, uh, kind of the same thing. I mean, I think that they're okay, but like even in Heroes 5, they definitely weren't um, super insane either. And honestly, the green dragons for Sylvan are not um, too insane. Um, stalkers. I do think the stalkers, and I think it's either this one or the other one, it's actually pretty decent. Um, I'll put them in B and A. I don't think that they're great. I mean, they're definitely like early tier units, but um, they're not that bad. Uh, the titans in this one, definitely, again, not as strong as uh, Heroes 5, but still um, decent. Let's see, and then we got... The uh, Hydras, we got the Behemoths. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really think the Behemoths are too great either. They can definitely be super devastating, but um, I just feel like there's better stronghold units that uh, do more and do better. Um, the Trents. I mean, I think the trends are solid, they're okay, but again, I just, you know, I keep going back to Heroes 5 because I know it the best, and they're they're just not as strong as those ones. They're not as useful or meaningful as uh, those guys, but um, the Warriors here, not super great. Um, yeah, I don't remember this dwarf team being in this, but... Obviously, I am uh, very wrong. Um, the Guardians, yeah, still not super great. Um, and then we got Cyclops. Where's the upgraded Cyclops? Oh yeah, isn't the isn't there a couple of third upgrades for some people? Like the uh, the you can either do Behemoth or Cyclops, I think. Um, I think the Cyclops is okay. So I think that's maybe what uh, some of these units are. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember the uh, Hydras or Serpents being very um, strong either, honestly. Definitely not no Heroes 5 strength. But uh, that's where I'm going to leave everybody, because I honestly don't remember half of these uh, late game units. So please let me know down in the comments what you guys think, where you guys would place your favorite and least favorite Heroes of Might and Magic 7 units. Um, and where I placed mine, and what you guys think. Check out all of my other Heroes of Might and Magic content. A shit ton of Heroes 5, if you couldn't tell by listening to me at this point. Um, some Heroes 6, and then uh, some Heroes 7 as well. So like, subscribe, let me know down in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys in another one later on. Thank you.